Previously, our adventures to our eco-villa took us on a trek deep into the jungle. We ziplined across two rivers, hiked through beautiful valleys, and finally took a ride in a pickup down a narrow jungle path. At the end of this crazy adventure, we reached our luxury villa at Banana Llama Eco Villas. So, you comfortable? You settled in? You... Yeah, it's just beautiful. The place yeah. really is incredible. I know. Our hosts prepared us a delicious dinner. That's good. Before we wound down for the night. The sun rose over our valley in Dominica. It was our first morning on the island, and I couldn't wait to explore the land surrounding our eco-villa. Tucked away in an area of lush rainforest was Banana Llama Eco Villas, our home for two nights. The surroundings were so spectacular, I felt I had to pinch myself to check I wasn't dreaming. The villas are built on the bank of the River Rosalie, one of Dominica's 365 rivers. Beyond the river was sheer mountainside, coated in tall trees. Wandering through the grounds was a group of chickens who put a whole new meaning to the term free range. Imagine having all this space to roam in. The chickens are used for eggs, meaning the omelettes here are super fresh. When we arrived at the communal area for breakfast, Melissa was busy cooking away. I was excited to eat after trying a delicious dinner she cooked last night. Beautiful day today in Dominica, and we're just settling down for some breakfast. This morning we have a fruit platter. All the fruit is grown here in this beautiful ground. We also have a fresh fruit smoothie again, made with all the local fruits that are grown on site. And then I have some tea because tea is life. breakfast we were joined by a little lizard who was doing a great job of keeping our table clear of flies. Most attempts were not successful, but he didn't give up. No. Lewis and I were fascinated by the fact that Melissa and Andy grew all produce themselves on this land using organic farming methods. 
Back at home, we are always careful to choose local organic food due to both the eco and health benefits that come with the organic label. Melissa offered to give us a tour of their garden. I couldn't wait to learn more about what they grew. This is tarragon, papaya, rosemary. This is thyme. This is a basil. Right in the middle is green beans. So what did we have on our breakfast this morning? Kale, green onion, and tomato. And then of course the papaya that we had this morning. These are actually um, passion fruit. Do you have many challenges with like the little bugs eating? Yes, we do have slugs. We don't use pesticides or anything. We plant enough so the bugs can have some. Yeah, yeah. See this line? Oh, I love hot chili. That's called a bush chili. Hot. Yeah, hot. So I made an oil, hot chili oil. You'll have to taste that. Do you want to have a little nibble? Mm -hmm. Just the right temperature. Probably if I ate the whole thing, it was. Oh, yeah, no. Be no, hot. No. <laughs> Why don't you try some? Tangerines. And this over here is a pumpkin pattern. We have a flower like this. Tonight, she's doing your pumpkin soup. Are there any pumpkins down there at the moment? They're probably are. What is this one? Mikey! Pumpkin! Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, wow. That's a monster. <laughs> Proud myself. How oh, did you spot that one? <laughs> if you smell that, you might recognize it more from the yeah. food. Lemon grass. Smell that. Ooh, lovely. So we've got some mint grain. Okay, we've got all our pineapples. We've got 150 pineapple plants. So they all come up at once every day with the pineapple and freeze it. And that's what you had in your smoothie banana and lime and ginger. So that each plant only produces one pineapple. These are babies. Oh. So we planted this uh, three years ago. And we've just had our first pot. So papayas. Do you like grow them from seeds from the ones you yes. have? Yes. So, so as you can see what I did there, I had a whole bunch of seeds and I just put it in there. Yeah. And then we take them and individually put them in each pot and then we'll plant them. So the rootstock will be a sour orange and then they graft on a ah. branch of a seedless Line and that's what blew away. So now the rootstock has come back and it's grown back beautifully, but it's a sour orange. Sour. Tastes very lemony to me, man. Bad into it. It's, it's more the you don't eat the skin, you eat inside, and there's a cook in the middle. It's like a green apple. It tastes like apple, yeah. but it's got a very different texture. Yeah. Do you want yeah. to try? Yeah, try some. Mm -hmm. We met Jeremiah, or Jerry for short, who offered to take us hunting for coconuts after Melissa's garden tour. Wow, but this is the new tree coming up. Oh, here we have the coconut tree. Oh, that's the equivalent of your chestnut. All right. So now you can go with Jerry. Here you go. Yes, listen. All right. So I get some for you. Have fun. Cool. We're going to drink some jelly nut. Sounds good. Yes. <laughs> and the cornella inside of it, the white thing. You have to eat it as well. Yeah, Ooh, fantastic. Nice. Yeah. Once you eat this, it's going to make your body flourish and feel good for the day. The natural juice, mm -hmm. they call it tangerine. It's nice. Oh, really? The banana is in Dominica. Yeah. Like, I love it here. I love my beach. Like paradise. Oh, there he is. There he is, wow. Oh, wow, you did. That was a good job. There he is, wow. It's so beautiful. I know. And yeah. here, it's just beautiful. It is, yeah. yeah. It's just a paradise. You're not going to catch it, Ella? <laughs> <laughs> I think it would land on my head. <laughs> That is a real big one, yeah.
Wow. Yeah. Well done. That was very nicely done. <laughs> yeah. I'm impressed. Here, it's delicious. Wow, that's amazing. Wow, yeah, I have been. Wow. <laughs> Sampling some coconut and pick some watercress. This is so beautiful. It, it, it shrinks like when you get yeah. the hot water, it feels shrinky. Yeah. Like it's like a salad. Yeah. It's so lovely. I'm gonna pick a little more. Then it was time to meet back with Melissa and resume our garden tour. Water, uh, a tomato cherry. They're delicious. But everybody loves them. It's very difficult to get them before the birds do. This is Oh, it's edible? Yeah, it's really high in vitamin C. Amongst yeah. other things, it has more vitamin C than an orange even. So we've got baby ones starting up here. See, there's a baby. Oh. The tables and all of it have made of red cedar. In the shed here, we have a whole bunch of red cedar. So we have red cedar, we have mahogany, and we have balata. We have star fruit over here. You can just uh, break it open and you can eat the skin as well, but yeah. it's more the juice on the inside. The red pot over there. Yeah. So you open that up and you get the beans out and yeah. then you ferment that, you dry it and then you roast it and you make chocolate. And Andy is the chocolatier here. We own it, we make it 80% chocolate. You have to put some sugar in otherwise it's just too bitter. Yeah. Turmeric yeah. alcohol. Yeah. And this over here is ginger. Ah. Oh. Ginger. You see some of the patent free plants have, uh, have died. It was now time to relax and have some lunch. We have some fish and tomatoes on top and avocado. This is a salad, including the watercress here that we picked this morning. And here we have some yummy homemade bread. After lunch, we decided to take a dip in the river. Hickok, don't live! <laughs> Here, the layout of the rocks creates a natural pool which glows cyan on a perfect clear day. <laughs> it's just the right depth for a swim, although... Oh, oh my god! Oh! oh holy macaroni! The natural spring water is refreshingly <laughs> chilly.
had a moment to freshen up as dinner was prepared. Tonight would be our last night at Banana Lama and we were determined to make the most of it. Whilst relaxing on our balcony, the heavens opened up and we found ourselves amongst a tropical downpour. I watched two small lizards competing for territory. I felt like I'd been transported into a nature documentary. It was crazy that this was happening right in front of me. Dinner was ready. Starter was pumpkin soup using the pumpkin I found earlier. Our main course was seared yellowfin tuna, which was the best tuna I've had in my life. It was incredible. Last but not least was Andy's homemade chocolate. I officially can never eat chocolate anywhere else again, as nothing compares to how amazing this is. And you crack them open. Oh yeah. And there is your bean. Uh -huh. That's what we call a nook, chocolate nook. Yeah. Amazing. And with our bellies full, we retreated to our glorious cabin for our final night here. Tomorrow we'd be moving on. The adventure really never ends.